My name is Ray Wilson. This is my beautiful bride, Heather. actually led me to Christ a number of years ago and when we started talking about our retirement uh, the subject came up and she had talked about her dream was to open a bed and breakfast on a missionary route to provide a place for missionaries to be able to come into and prepare to go into the field and at the same time when they came out to be able to wind down uh, in that conversation uh, we started talking about there was a lot to do here in the United States. You decided uh, we needed to be more proactive. proactive. I couldn't just do dishes. Um, so that's why we RV now, and, and we got to the point of where we sold everything and we quit our jobs uh, to be able to travel the country. For a we, few years I mean, before literally, we, we moved were out of a house, we moved into a one-bedroom apartment, and every three months we would close off a section of the yeah. apartment. We would close off the bedroom, and we moved our bed or our mattress into the dining room, and we slept on the mattress. Uh, three months later, we moved that into the living room, so we, I used the term... Smallerizing. We were smallerizing, we but that's what we did. We prepared <laughs> to live in a couple hundred square foot. Yeah. And... We've never seen anyone do that before, yeah. or well, go to that length of doing it. If you into our apartment and you saw a mattress on the floor, it probably kind of looked like a crack, crack house, house, you know? <laughs> but, um, like I said, um, we prepared. We tried to prepare. Okay. And we, we saved and we invested and we tried to be smart about it. I married Rich. <laughs> I don't know about Rich. <laughs> is medical insurance. Yeah. It's classed as a 42 foot fifth wheel, but it's about 44 40. foot uh, stem to stern. Yeah. Okay, why did you decide to get that big of a Because I would not give up my shoes or my workout equipment, so... We, we kind of <laughs> got on a little bit of a health kick and uh, my wife does like her shoes and uh, um, we do exercise and we got a toy hauler for the purpose of when you full-time RV uh, I think you got to realize you lose your attic you lose your basement you lose your garage uh, with that toy hauler ours is 12 feet long um, it provides that extra storage space if you need it on our account she actually has almost a full down. workout room back there she's yeah. got a full-size elliptical she's got a full-size rowing machine and she has an area to or roll out her pilates pilates. mat and it gives us uh, essentially a mud room for us yeah. so giving up all that room from a house um i think even though it's a 42 foot rv living space we're probably in about 30 foot and it just gave us that extra it may be an overkill but it gave us that room to stretch out i think and I, I guess I would say if, if you're starting and, and you're not actually on the road yet, if you're still looking for the perfect RV, don't be so intimidated by the floor plan if it doesn't meet every, Absolutely. you know, aspect. Um, we bought a brand new 2015. Heartland Road Warrior. And he pretty much gutted the inside and we refurnished with Ikea because it's made for small spaces. 
so we were able to make it more home-like and one of the biggest things was we extended our counter space you know from a little bitty square between a sink and an oven to how 12, much? 12 feet of butcher block yeah in, in one, in one of our pop outs so you know there, there's a lot of ways that you can you know go in and modify and you know fix an rv to meet your specific needs if it has just the layout you know we ripped out the section of sofa and the dining room table dining room and, set and you know i have a ikea princess sofa now in that pop out and it and works the good just thing fine. about that is, is when something breaks <laughs> just go down to ikea and you buy something new Well, our website is www.ourcalvaryroad.com. That's ourcalvaryroad.com. Uh, Facebook and Twitter by the same. Um, and on our website, uh, some of the pages are uh, our testimony or a little bit about our history, um, where we've been. If you go there, there'll be a map of the churches we go to, restaurants that we found, RV parks that we restaurants. worked at, uh, people that we've met uh, that we thought made an impact of, on our yeah. life at one way or another. Um, the Bible studies, yeah, I do verse Bible by verse studies. Bible studies. Um, it's not topical. Um, and it talks about, you know, Paul is in Damascus, here's what's going on. So those are on there. Um, there's a contact page for prayers, prayer if requests. prayer requests. Um, and again, that's www.ourcalvaryroad.com. <laughs> Um, and the main website. thing is, is really we focus on trying to get the word out there. You know, we want to, you know, spread the word of God and, and see a mighty host in heaven. Absolutely. You know, I mean, that's that's our and, main goal. And we've been at some places where I have 15 or 20 people show up to a Bible study. Um, if one person knocks on the door, we give a Bible study. I don't like it, I hook up and move. <laughs> I think my pro with our van is because of the square footage of our RV. Um, my wife, who's also my best friend, is never a radio call away yeah. from me. When we're in the home, you know, 10, 15 feet is the max she can escape from me. <laughs> um, and she is my best friend. So I like, yeah. I like the proximity of being with my wife. That's the pro for us for our van.